Man, woman, birth, death, infinity. <laughs> Good afternoon, and welcome to the Your Health Television Program here on AMP's Cable Channel 24 and on the internet at www.ampmedia.org. Join our rotating host and their informative guest live every Monday afternoon at 4 o'clock. The purpose of the Your Health Television Program is to help get, make, and keep listeners and viewers like you healthy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on with the program. Welcome to the Your Health Television Program, hosted by the Monterey County Health Department. I'm Emily Shelto, your host today and just about every third Monday of each month. When you see the flashing lights and hear the sirens of an ongoing, oncoming ambulance, do you ever wonder what's going on inside? Who's in there and why? Is a life being saved right then and there? How are they saving a life? What special emergency medical techniques are they performing? Where are they going and will they get there in time? Well, if you have ever wondered uh, how this whole system works, from the time, for say, someone picks up the phone to call for help, to when medics arrive on scene and begin stabilizing patients, to their arrival and transfer to hospital care, then you are in the right place today. Today we'll be discussing the Monterey County Emergency Medical Services System as a kickoff to National EMS Week 2013. Emergency medical services are services providing out-of-hospital acute care and transport to definitive care to patients with illnesses and injuries believed to constitute a medical emergency. National Emergency Medical Services Week brings together local communities and medical personnel to publicize safety and honor the dedication of those who provide the day-to-day -day emergency life-saving services on medicine's front line. This year's theme of EMS Week is EMS, One Mission, One Team. So here today to talk more about the components of Monterey County's intricate emergency medical system are two local EMS team members who both have many years of exciting and insightful experience to share with us. So without further delay, I'd like to introduce my first guest to the program, Mr. Kirk Schmidt, uh, Monterey County EMS Agency Director. Welcome, Kirk, and thank you for being here. Happy to be here, Emily. Um, so Kirk, let's start off with the basics. What does it mean to be the EMS Director? Well, as EMS director, I am in charge of the EMS agency for Monterey County, and our main role is, is to make sure that we have an effective, efficient system of delivery pre-hospital care where we connect patients to, to first responders, to ambulances, to hospitals, and make sure that it's an efficient system, that it works well, uh, and that the care that's provided is uh, as optimal as we can make it be. Okay, so that's a lot. Um, there's a lot going on there. Certainly. Um, what are some of the parts of the of the EMS system that you're referring to? Maybe you can talk about them in more detail. Sure. So uh, for the EMS agency, uh, what we do is, is we manage the uh, providers. So we have first responders, we have EMTs, and we have paramedics within our system who all deliver pre-hospital care. So we make certain that we provide them with the guidance, the protocols, the procedures, so that they can uh, provide the appropriate care at the level of training that they have. From that, then we also manage the ambulance services. And we have four uh, main services, uh, transport ambulance services in Monterey County. One is the contract, uh, county contract provider, American Medical Response, and I believe you'll be talking with one of their paramedics later on today. Mm -hmm. And then we also have three smaller uh, ambulance services, one in Carmel, one in Carmel Valley that's run by Monterey County Regional Fire Department, and then Fort Hunter and Leggett. So we make certain that they uh, provide the transport uh, capabilities in an appropriate way. And by the way, they're all advanced life support, all of our ambulance services, and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. And then from there, we also then manage our, how they're delivered into the emergency rooms. So all four of our hospitals all accept patients from our uh, pre-hospital providers, our ambulance services. So we make certain that they, uh, uh, that the handoff to the ED care is inappropriate and that the, uh, the handoff is efficient. Uh, and along with that, and this seems to be running on a little bit, but there's <laughs> a lot of things that go on here, is, is that 
We also uh, have what we uh, in, in EMS call time critical events. And there's really essentially four time critical events. Now every emergency is time critical, but these four have uh, specific time, or these four areas have very specific time areas. So trauma is one that we have a, a uh, we label as a time critical event. Uh, and so we manage the trauma system, which is a subset of our EMS system. Okay. We also have stroke. Uh, so those folks who are having those uh, uh, stroke events. We uh, work with the hospitals and have designated two hospitals to be stroke centers, stroke treatment centers. Uh, and that's Community Hospital of, of Monterey Peninsula, CHOMP, and uh, Salinas Valley Memorial Hospital. Uh, then we also have uh, uh, STEMI, and now I'm going to pardon it, pardon the pun, but in, in EMS we talk in acronyms quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So STEMI stands for ST Elevated Myocardial Infarction. Again, a very <laughs> big word, or a very big set of words, but essentially heart attacks. Okay. So we designate two hospitals uh, for, um, uh, to provide direct treatment for our heart attack. Again, it's a time critical event. We need to make certain that certain treatments occur inside the hospital as quickly as possible, so we've designated two hospitals, uh, again, the same two hospitals, CHOMP and SVMH, as uh, our STEMI centers. And I just based off what our last, I'll get back to our fourth uh, time critical event here. Okay, uh, in the meantime, um, we both mentioned earlier pre-hospital care, and, and you mentioned pre-hospital care, and then you mentioned transport. Right. What exactly is pre-hospital care then? Certainly, so uh, we have three levels of pre-hospital providers. We have a level that are called first responders who uh, uh, receive about roughly 60 hours of training. So they provide basic uh, life support uh, uh, treatments. Uh, they uh, have a, a uh, a limited skill set and a limited amount of tools, but we have, that's our first layer of first, uh, of first delivery of care. Uh, and then we have what uh, are termed uh, EMT ones, emergency medical technician ones. They're also BLS providers, but they have a level of training that's roughly 120 to 130 hours. So their skill set's a little bit more than the first responder. They also have a few more tools in their toolbox, if you will. Uh, and both of those are our BLS providers or our basic life support providers. And then we have uh, our highest level of pre-hospital providers, uh, our paramedics. Uh, paramedics are advanced life support, so they, have, they get roughly 1,100 to 1,300 hours of training. Oh. Uh, their skill set, of course, is reflective of that, so it's quite a bit more. Their toolbox, if you will, is uh, also much more. Uh, they, they're the ones who, uh, if you go to those shows, watch those shows on TV where you see the IVs started and the uh, uh, medicines, the drugs pushed in and all of that, that's usually typically the paramedics. So that's our highest level of pre-hospital care. We also have another level that's within the pre-hospital system, which is our critical care transports. And that's managed by nurses. Uh, so RNs, registered nurses, who uh, work on our ambulance in these critical care transports. Again, that's just another level of service, um, more tools in the toolbox, if you will, uh, and, and it's part of our system. Okay, so where does pre-hospital care go down? Does it go, does it happen on scene? in the ambulance or the, while someone's being transported? It's a whole continu continuum of care, Emily. Oh, so I see, one mission, one team. One mission, one team. So it all begins with uh, the 911 call. Okay. So, uh, and that's really as, um, um, using an analogy, that's really a tip of the spear. So our 911 center, our communications center, receives the call. Uh, they hear that it's a medical call it is then transferred to uh, uh, specifically trained uh, dispatchers, communications experts who uh, take that information in uh, from the caller, um, gather the pertinent information, gather the type of emergency that it is, gather the location of the emergency, and then begin this process of pre-hospital care delivery. So from there, it begins with um, 
after the calls received, they identified the location, they uh, identified the type of emergency is and the type of response that's going to occur. Typically, it's uh, an emergency response in Monterey County. Uh, and depending upon where it's at, they'll dispatch either a city fire department or a fire district or a volunteer fire department or maybe even a volunteer fire brigade if it's on the Big Sur coast. So they'll dispatch that uh, first responder and that typically is uh, either at the first responder level or at the EMT level, but we do have uh, paramedic level first responders also. And at the same time, we're dispatching an ambulance. So the first responders and the ambulance arrive um, uh, in sync uh, where the first responders and the ambulance work in this coordinated, this one team, one mission, if you will. Mm -hmm. So to uh, determine the, the needs of the patient, uh, determine what treatments can occur there, what treatments need to occur in the ambulance, and then what treatments um, sort of to set the table uh, for what treatments are they going to occur in the hospital. Okay. Uh, so again, this one team, one mission theme, which is very appropriate uh, for EMS week, is, is it all works in this coordinated effort. Um, some of the treatments happen uh, at, on scene, if you will, um, or in the back of the ambulance, or they begin in the back of the ambulance and finish in the emergency room. Oh. And that may not even be the end of the emergency room. When we talk about time critical events, uh, trauma in particular at this time is actually uh, while we're working to develop a comprehensive trauma system in Monterey County and hopefully we will designate it a uh, level two trauma center in Monterey County by January of 2015. Um, right now our trauma patients, our major critical trauma patients are transferred to one of the trauma centers in the Bay Area. So there may be where we continue the care where we rendezvous with an ambulance or with a helicopter. The ambulance rendezvous with a helicopter either at a landing zone or maybe at a helipad at one of our hospitals to transfer the patient to our helicopter uh, providers who then transfer them up to uh, one of the trauma centers in the Bay Area, typically in San Jose. But for our other time critical events, which would be uh, stroke or that heart attack, we have set of uh, treatment protocols and procedures so that the ambulance goes directly, takes that patient directly to that designated center, giving them a heads up, if you will, so that uh, the uh, hospital is prepared to move them quickly through the emergency department to get them to definitive care to uh, uh, remedy uh, the time critical event, the stroke or the uh, heart attack. And did you remember what the, is it mass, mass, ca mass, mass casualty? Mass casualty Am is. Am I close? A, no, no, you're not. Okay. But, uh, well, uh, we'll, I'll still come back to you. Okay. And so all those things, I'm pretty sure um, it happens even in a shorter amount of time than it took to explain it, no? Um, it seems like... Roughly, it's, um, well, on average in Monterey County, uh, uh, from the time the call is uh, received at the uh, uh, dispatch center, at our 911 communication center, to the time that an ambulance is on scene, on average, is about six minutes. So we have first responders and ambulance there with about at six minutes. Uh, and then typically uh, their scene time is somewhere between 10 and 14 minutes. Uh, and then the transport time to the hospital is roughly 14 to 20 minutes. So uh, from time of call to the time that they're inside a hospital typically is right around half an hour. So that's Monterey pretty County. quick. It's very quick. Um, is that t is that standard or is that below? Uh, it is um, uh, in Monterey County. We have a very uh, efficient system. We have a lot of ambulances on the street. We have a lot of first responders in our network. Uh, every uh, city has a fire department that responds. Uh, a lot of our fire districts also have uh, responders. So uh, our response times are. Uh, probably above industry standards so excellent it makes makes me feel you know what I mean should make everybody all of our viewers feel very confident in our system um, 
So tell me more about the emergency response network in Monterey County that you were just kind of talking sure. about. Well, the, another part of the EMS agency, uh, while we uh, manage the, uh, the system, we also manage the ambulance contract for American Medical Response. It's a contract between um, Monterey County and AMR, American Medical Response. So we make certain that they, they live up and the county lives up to our ends of this contract. Uh, we also have um, a network of uh, training programs. We have two EMT training programs in Monterey County, so we make certain that the training they do is appropriate for the uh, EMT providers. We also license our, or I'm sorry, certified our EMTs and we accredit our paramedics so that we make certain that they have met the uh, training requirements and that they continue the uh, continuing, continuing education, education and in, in a two-year rotation. That's just the, sort of the big scope of it, uh, but in, in sort of the more in-depth scope is, is all of this relates to making certain that it's efficient, it's effective, uh, and that the delivery uh, is appropriate, and that we, uh, uh, we service the citizens of Monterey County very well. Wow, and it seems like, you know, whenever I go to um, your area of the building at the health department, there's like five of you. That's right. It seems like it's so much more to do than just five people can do. Uh, well, well, maybe they have a great director. Well, they have a great director, of course, <laughs> but we're, we also have to be very efficient and effective in what we do because, yes, we are a limited staff, uh, and we have multiple uh, areas of responsibility, and so we, we, we figure out ways to make sure that it all works, and we rely on our stakeholders and the network of providers to uh, assist us as we assist them so that again one mission one team uh, efficient and effective well great um, unfortunately we're about out of time for this segment but if you'd like more information on anything you just heard please visit the Monterey County Emergency Medical Services Agency on the web at www.mtyhd.org slash EMS. That's www.mtyhd.org slash EMS. For right now we're going to take a short break, but don't touch that dial. We'll be back in just a moment with more of the Your Health Television program.